Hi, I'm Diane Mulligan. And I'm Tony Carnese. And you know, Tony, recently in the Denver Post, there was this whole story about the downturn in the economy right. and how the housing prices have recovered in Denver. What did you think about that article? It was a great article, actually. It was actually talking about the Home Price Recovery Index. It's looking at pricing today uh, versus where we were at the peak before the downturn before. And it was pretty fascinating that Denver has actually led that um, index every single quarter since they started that in 2015. In fact, uh, they talked about the fact that prices in Denver, Lakewood, um, and Arvada are actually up 91% wow. over where we were in the peak before the last downturn. Why do you uh, think that? Why do you think that Denver's leading the way? You know, a couple of things. I think um, when you really look at the landscape and what's going on and you look at the downturn that we had, it was shorter than most of the other places right, in the country. Right. And we all experienced that downturn. We did. I yeah. mean, it was three painful years, but it yes. was only three years where some other places it was much longer. And if you look overall at the entire market in Denver, the market here in Denver really only lost 8% of its value wow. in those three years. Where when you were looking at some places like Las Vegas and other places, uh, that was that was a whole lot different. I think the other thing too that's driving that and and the reason that our prices are going up and we're up so high is um, we've got less new construction being built, so that's putting pressure on existing homes for prices to be up because of inventory. And then we have a ton of booming building downtown, right? right and we've absolutely. got a lot of urban construction where that's higher priced and that's changing and skewing that just a little bit. So are there other markets in the country that are going backwards? Yeah, you know it's it's interesting. We see some going backwards and we also see some like Vegas and Sacramento and a few other places, um, they have doubled their pricing since the peak last time, but really? they still haven't actually caught up. Um, now, because they lost so much. Because they lost so much. Wow. Now, going backwards, we actually saw three markets go backwards. We saw Seattle, uh, we saw um, Oxnard, California, and Frederick, Maryland that actually lost value for the first time year over year. So don't know if that's going to be a longer term trend, but usually when we see a shift in the market, it starts on the coasts, and now you've got two cities on the west coast and one city on the east coast that actually lost value year over year last year. Do you think that's because prices have gotten so high? What? Very well could be, and it could be just an automatic course correction. You know, we usually have a course correction every seven years, and we haven't had one in so long. Oh. So it's going to be interesting to kind of see what happens. So we better stay tuned and listen to what you have to say. Stay tuned, for okay. sure. Okay. Have a great day. Take care.